All right, so cool, cool guys. What's up? It's Constantine. Top 10 overseas hikes that are on our wish list. Um, there's so many, and a lot of them build into each other. And once we get into that area, we'll start touching on what that looks like and what that means. But this is going to be a general overview of overseas hiking that we're looking forward to and that we want to do. Um, little disclaimer, we are going to butcher some names. We are not going to be able to pronunciate some of these names really well. So the number one trail on our wish list um, is the Greater Patagonia Trail. And this trail is about 1900 miles and it's still being developed but it looks absolutely beautiful and hence the name Patagonia. It does go through Patagonia and it's just in the Andes Mountains and you kind of connect all these routes. It's in development, it's growing. You can connect right now, I think about 1300 very well. Then the next 600, you're gonna do some route finding. So that is our first wish list. And that so is number two, we just want to do it because it looks awesome and there's so much publicity around it, so much support around it that it's not so much a backcountry hike as it is a journey or a pilgrimage. And of course you guys know what I'm talking about, the Camino de Santiago Trail. And the classic route is about 500 miles and it goes mostly through Spain. You can go into Portugal if you want, but yeah, so it's mostly 500 miles and you get to a village almost every day. And in that village, you get a shelter, you get a hostel. It looks really cool. It's not backcountry hiking, but it looks fun. And with this trail too, you can actually extend it to upwards of like 2,000 miles. You can come all the way from Russia, go all the way to Spain. That would be extremely difficult. I don't know if we're going to do that. <laughs> it looks cool, but stuff can look cool, but we might not have the time to do it. So that is number two. And number three, number three is going to be special. We might do a video sp specifically on number three. These are the E routes through Europe. And there are so many E routes through there that I think the total of these routes add upwards of like, I think it's 45,000 kilometers. So there's a lot of smaller trails built into these trail systems, but the one we specifically are looking at is kind of the E1 and it goes like 4,900 miles. Again, because there's most support around it, these other E trails, you can do bits and pieces, but researching them is difficult so getting into that information is harder than <laughs> the planning planning prep is going to take just as long as the hike so these are the e-routes routes, routes go, go through norway finland uh, spain denmark germany switzerland italy <sighs> they go through all these countries in europe so there's many e-routes but that's going to hit our list as well and number four is the north to south trail this looks pretty cool. We like anything you can do end to end. And this is kind of the end of Iceland to the other end of Iceland. Let me switch, not this way, this way. <laughs> so it's end to end Iceland. And within that route, it's about 340 miles. You're gonna see Iceland. Iceland is kind of like the hidden gem for us because a lot of people think of Iceland as that classic image that pops into your head like, oh, nothing's there there's a lot of beauty in Iceland from what we have seen. So that comes in at number four. Number five, we are gonna absolutely destroy this name. The Kungsleden, the Kungsleden, the Kungsleden, the Kung, Kungsleden, the Kungsleden. It will be written. So you can pronunciate it the right pronunciation. So this trail system is about 270 miles, um, purely in the country of Sweden. And we just wanna do some Swedish hiking. It's not. It's hiking, you got some remote areas, but once again, it's more so of the journey through the country and not this backcountry, backcountry wilderness experience. But it looks really, really cool. So that is number five. Number six, we are going to Wales, the Wales Coast Path. Anything that you can do end to end really, especially countries or states, what we've done in the US, really has a draw to us. And the West Coast Path is about is about 870 miles and it goes along the entire coastline end to end of Wales and within there you're gonna see amazing stuff um, it I don't know if people have done it most people have done it in segments um, somebody somewhere has probably done it in a through hike so we're not gonna worry about that too much <laughs> but yeah number yeah. seven shout out to our buddy Enigma um, he's actually done pieces of this the it, number seven is the Trans Caucasian Trail 
And this trail right now wouldn't be the best to go to, but it looks pretty cool. It goes through Georgia, Armenia, and oh, I'm gonna butcher the name, Azerbaijan. And it's about 1,800 miles, depending how you connect these uh, routes. And it looks really cool from what we've heard from Enigma. Um, he really enjoyed that experience um, going from these villages and having to pull old maps out from like get the local his, uh, local towns map. So that trail looks really cool as well. Number eight, the Trans Panama Trail. This looks cool because it is in the country of Panama and in South America. This trail kinda... looks really cool because it goes and it goes from the Panama Colombian border to the Panama Costa Rican border, depending on how you do it. And we've been to Costa Rica before absolutely beautiful this route once again is going to have to take a lot of planning but it looks absolutely beautiful number nine the bill babuluman track in western australia this is about 620 ish miles and it brings you through a lot of the most beautiful parts in western australia western australia a lot of their nature preserves kind of their parks and we've never done hiking in australia so that's what kind of draws us to that and we've had some buddies that have gone to Australia, not have done this trail, but have gone there and they said it's epically beautiful. So we want to experience that one as well. Number 10. This is going to be a terrible pronunciation. You ready for this? Okay. The Bake a Dujin Trail. Please tell me what it is. That is not how you pronunciate it. Um, this is number 10. This is in South Korea, yeah. about 470 miles in South Korea. And this trail kind of follows the ridgeline of the Batadu Dragoons Mountains. Um, so we've looked at trails in Thailand as well, and they didn't, we're not going to put them on this list, but that kind of hiking through there looks very remote, very um, village to village, kind of a lot of logistics go into that. And we've heard that South Korea is a beautiful country as well as Thailand, and we want to go to both. But <laughs> we had to pick one for this list, and that's that list. All right, so. so we have to do it because our name, 11 Skies, as well as we just like giving you a mystery number 11, um, an extra one for this top 10 list. And number 11 is a combination of different routes. And this is in the country of Italy. And these routes are the Dolomites. The Dolomites have so many trail systems in them that you can pick the Dolomite 1, Dolomite 2, Dolomite 3, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And within those trail systems, you are gonna find epic mountains, epic mountain passes, um, really remote, really wilderness uh, experiences needed. And that comes in at number 11 because it looks so beautiful. All these trails we've talked about look extremely beautiful. So yeah, that is our top 10, 11, top 11 <laughs> hikes um, overseas. Before we get into anything else hiking related, we wanted to show you trail systems bees. There's no hiking without trail systems. So we wanted to get some of these trail, like top trails that are on our minds and on our hearts um, out there before we start getting into the nitty gritty of what goes into hikes, all, all the good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe below. We love hearing from you. Any more suggestions about any of these videos, any pros, cons that you like, or any future videos that you want to see. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe. If you really love this, you can always support us over on Patreon, see the behind the scenes stuff of our hikes, what goes into it, because it goes into the planning beforehand, off season and on season, because they're all one thing. And if you want to also support us and our gear company, you can go to 11skies.com. And there you'll see our gear, kind of, you'll see our interesting content around hiking and a few points of a few hikers that have hiked enough trails to lose it a tiny bit. <laughs> so that is it. And we always thank you for being a part of this. And we just want to say thanks for being a part of our journey. And cool, cool. Peace.